He doesn't let things slide. He let you know exactly mm -hmm. what's on his mind. He's going to slow down the pace. Point going to Gomez. John will be serving at love 15. Joan turns it around, and uh, John feeds off this now. That's a great shot. Always battling. Again, he doesn't have a big swing either. Till, uh, the racket goes back. You see, that's not very far, is it? And he swings with the upper body. It's the upper body rotation that gives him the control of that shot. It's not an arm swing. It's a shoulder swing. So, yeah, that looked wide. There's a fascination with watching this man compete that cannot be denied. Watch what happens here. It just went right out from under him. You know, you were saying earlier that this is a dry court because of the wind. Well, yes, that quickens the court up a little bit. It also makes it more slippery. And that was clearly the case there, Cliff, as you see part of our uh, sellout crowd here. A year ago, McEnroe lost in the final to Jimmy Connors here at the challenge. This year, Andres Gomez took Connors out. John, a winner over Yannick Noah in the semifinal. To qualify, it's 35 years and older. McEnroe obviously still in very good shape, and he still burns with that desire to beat you. Right now, he's serving at 15.40, however. one still break point and this is a big one yeah he doesn't want Andres serving it 5-3 does he that is just too good the ball sails skyward but in truth, it had nothing to do with McEnroe on that one. The serve was excellently played. He got into the net, which is exactly where he should be. But who's to know that Gomez is going to come with a return of serve like this? Take a look at this. Again, not much swing. Hit it a little late, actually. He got more angle than he deserved on that shot. But it was out of reach of McEnroe, and he's got the break again. Heavier. And better so far today. There you can see. Uh, look at the career earnings. Look at the difference yeah. between these uh, just gonna say. two there. It's amazing. Oh. 
Morning. Had a chance to put McEnroe away here in the uh, first set. Remember how he choked a little bit against Jimmy Connors when he was serving for the match. Had 40 love and then very nearly let Connors get back into it. He's got three sons back in Guayaquil, Ecuador. That's home for him. He's a big daddy. Set point. You know, Cliff, you're right. He does choke a little bit when he's got a chance to close the door on something, doesn't he? the door on the first set. The big Ecuadorian, Andres Gomez, leading John McEnroe in the finals of the challenge presented by Quality Inns. There are a look at the 18th green at Pebble Beach. They pull back to the patio. Oh, it's a nice time of day for a little tea and crumpets up there. Three, and now time for the second set here. This is the finals of the challenge presented by Quality Inns. John will have to find a solution here, Cliff. Yeah, and it's not going to be easy. Gomez, you know, he gets into a position where he's got the first break, looks like he's going to run away with it. McEnroe gets back, but then Gomez is able to break for the second time, and that's all he needed. He's just playing very, very solid ball. That's where his aces come from when he serves into the right hand as forehand. Because that happens to be Gomez's backhand because he's a lefty also. Yeah, see, big difference now. He's starting to nail that first service. And we talked to John about whether or not he's ever going to change his on-court behavior. Uh, the answer is I don't really know. I think it's uh, one of those type of things where you, you, your expectations of yourself and what people expect of you override the fact that you're just here trying to uh, enjoy yourself. And uh, once again, my goal is not to get caught up in that. I'd rather prefer not to play in the future because uh, it's one thing when you're playing the, the tour now, but I think this is a different type of tour. This does not have the intensity of a Wimbledon and the majors. And I think I owe it to the, the sponsors and guys like Jimmy who have done so much for this to, to put a better face forward. So uh, to me, it's definitely important to sort of, if something is said more, and, and I think I have a personality it's, it, at times, has, believe it or not, has a sense of humor. It just doesn't come out on the court, and that would be my number one goal. Yeah, sometimes John just can't help himself, and I don't think that'll ever, ever change. I don't think it will either, and you know, the thing that I would love to say to him is, John, do you realize how quickly you could turn people around by just changing your act on court. <laughs> they love him in six months. Love him, because he's such a talent. You look like a couple of hats out of Ecuador. That's where the finest straw hats in the world are made these days. Used to be Havana, but no longer. Where Chi Chi gets his hats now? Yeah, sure. Ecuadorian. It's like the cigar business. Moves south, too, but... So, McEnroe wins the first game here. Down a set. But with Johnny Mac around, it's never over till it's over. Prior to our championship match, there was a very entertaining consolation match between Jimmy Connors and Yannick Noah. In the first set, Yannick Noah did a perfect Jimmy Connors. Let's watch.
<laughs> the Jimmy won that set. And then he had match point in the second set. So the consolation prize goes to Jimmy Connors, who was knocked out by Andres Gomez in the semifinals of the challenge. Gomez and John McEnroe continue. On occasion during the course of a point, your opponent will hit a ball that's wide that takes you outside the court. You have to get over there and give yourself a chance to get back into the point. So what I suggest you do is to run over there and get your racket head below the ball so that you can have the time to throw up a high, hopefully a deep lob, and in the meantime, be on your toes and get back into the center of the court to be ready for the next shot. I'm on my toes, back in the middle, gives me an extra chance to see a little bit of the ball coming at me to react in time. Notice I'm a little bit back behind the baseline. It just gives me that extra second to see and be ready for the ball. The point's not over. Your opponent has an opportunity to hit another shot. Be ready. This win on serve. There were three service breaks in that first set. Thank you play. Thank you. None so far here in the second. That's nice. Worked his way into that point beautifully. Bided his time, got into the net, and all it took was one volley. It's the decisive moment, and he wasn't that close to the net. into the net and then Makino down the line. Well played, but Gomez anticipated. been attacking the net a little bit more quick than he did against Connors. You noticed? Yes. That's out of reach. Well played. You have to do that to take the net away from McEnroe. Otherwise, he's just going to stand on top of it and, and uh, kill you. It was a miss hit, as you could see on that one. Comes in nevertheless. It's a very good drop volley. 30 all. Slippery. But he wrong footed him. Take a look here again. Return a little high, but a very solid play from Gomez. Watch him go out from under his feet there. Trying to recover, but no way. brother has gone uh, under the knife some surgery to his shoulder understand that uh, John told me that he's feeling good his dad John is a Manhattan law firm man he's a lawyer Big 
moment for Mac. Shorten up on this second serve. And that's it. McEnroe breaks through in the second set. Now leading four. There's Kevin McEnroe watching his father. That's his first double fault of the match. Yeah, you don't often see that. I mean, here is a player who, when he gets his teeth into you, is usually going to make it count, but just got the break. And it's got him talking to himself. Comparing boxing and tennis the other day, and this is one of those moments where the tide begins to turn and the confidence factor rears its head. That's why these moments, this moment is so important because if McEnroe can consolidate the lead, he'll have 5-2 and he should win the set. On the other hand, if Gomez can come back, it's a different ball game. There was a miss hit. You could see it coming off the frame and he didn't like it. serve motion that nobody's been able to copy it has extraordinary amount of upper body rotation in it there's another look you see he's almost pointing behind him at the fans behind him as he starts his serve motion watch this again right here there he is he's looking at you and then bam yes Place the net. <laughs> it's just thinking of that. <laughs> I, I can't explain that reaction, Brent, because it was a legitimately good shot. There was no close call. He just wanted the point that badly. Yes. because that was a, a volley he should have made. He really should. It was high. The court was open.
watch him come in here. He makes this one there. At that point, he just flicked it with his wrist, you could tell. And that's why it went too far. You need to, you need to have a firm wrist on the volleys. Going for a little too much. Talk about turning points in a match. This point is enormous. It's a question of trying for too much because he knows that if he doesn't go for a lot that Gomez is going to be looking at a forehand passing shot. He hits the forehand so well and he's afraid of that shot. Break point again. Great second serve that was. He's a better pressure player than Gomez. He's won seven Grand Slam titles. You see how he leans into that second serve. No concession to the importance of the moment from McEnroe then. He never won the Australian ever. Came very close to winning the French but failed. Won four US Opens and three Wimbledons. Got game point. is uh, taking a break. He's going to take a bathroom break, which is allowed according to the rules, so it'll probably be just a couple of minutes and he'll be back here and ready to play again. We at least hope he's coming back. Oh, he will. <laughs> <laughs> so it's the challenge presented by Quality Inns. McEnroe Lee. This is a man who has an enormous love affair with tennis. He can't wait to get to the court. He would never abuse balls, rackets, or the net. It's <laughs> Sean McEnroe. <laughs> He's one of a kind, isn't he, ladies and gentlemen? Lost the first set to Andres Gomez, 6-3. Battled his way back into it, as he frequently does. Leads in the second set now, 2-5. I think I'd have checked the height of the net after that <laughs> altercation. <laughs> Oh! 
Double yeah, the momentum is now swung. It's his first double fault, isn't it? Yeah. He had his chances in that last game, two break points on Mackinac 7. When he lost that, it seems that some of the fire has gone out in his game. out of her chair and as she's saying it was good so, so you'll play two next start, eh? I think he's gonna let this one go you'll get two to have revived Gomez. Well, he's only one break down. Mackinac sort of ambling by that mark just to take a look to see. Get his perspective on it. <laughs> Seems to be satisfied. the heat for his third ace. He looks kind of lazy, doesn't he? Just throws it up, ambles into it, and then whack. Oh. Every one of those first serves over 100 miles an hour. came back he's a better fighter he's been in more grand slam situations than Andres Gomez has this is by no means a grand slam event but you know when you when the chips are down McEnroe plays better we start the third and decisive set McEnroe serving even at a set of peace <laughs> volley works for him so often but uh, it is a, a low percentage shot and you could see there that the ball he just misjudged it it hit the frame between the first and second set is that the pressure transferred from the pressure being on McEnroe to being on Gomez and I think McEnroe realizes that in this third set he's going to have to keep attacking. It's a 
son, Kevin, of course, watching. Right behind his father is serving. Got the best seat in the house. Mm -hmm. But he's watching a very big point here. First game, albeit the first game of the third set, down 15-30 and a second serve. He's a big guy. He's got a long reach. As you can see, he doesn't move that well, but he doesn't have to. This one there, he sets up very well for, though. Goes down the line, Mackinac got to it, but missed the volley because there was a lot of heat on that back end. service with the first game of the decisive set. I just love to watch these two and how much variety of shot there is in it. Makino can slice that back in. He can go through it. He can hit it with some topspin, although that's not his favorite shot. trouble you, you give him a look at that forehand on a passing shot and you're in trouble Mackinac knew it and Gomez said thanks a lot here's another look freeze it there boys if you can just a sec right there do you see how Mackinac is looking for that forehand down the line but it goes cross court and it's way out of reach
that's a dangerous shot to try. You know, he there's nobody that hits it better than he does. But the problem is that he's he, he, look, he's in position to do it. But watch where Gomez is when he tries this. See, he hasn't backed up much, so he's ready to make the move in to cover it anyway. Now he's down a break point for an insurance second break in the third set. He'd like that one again. difference in that one is that he was not more than about 10 to 12 feet from the net when he made contact with that first volley and he will very seldom miss the ball in that circumstance look at this see how close he is It is so difficult for today's players to get that close to the first volley because they serve too hard. By the time the ball comes back, no matter how quick they are, they're on about the serve line. So, back and roll. Pulls off a break point to get on the board here in the third set. Game four of the third set here, McEnroe and Gomez. The finals of the challenge presented by Quality Ends. $150,000 to the winner. McEnroe has changed shirts. Gomez with the service. in and then this one there is a beautifully played shot he anticipates where Gomez is going to go he's waiting for it and the court is open here does he mean to do this that was more uh, reflex action than anything else so that is kind of fortunate for him that's called improvisation of 30 and a footfall so second serve on that one because this is a critical moment for him I mean he has got such sweet swings that's a very cleanly struck ball now this one here watch how he at the last minute changes his mind and goes for the drop shot Mackinac had no idea that he was going to come up with that one and was nowhere near it first serve from Gomez now and Pete Sampras can crank him up into the 127 128 mile an hour mark but to serve consistently at 110 is very solid it was a great return of service by Johnny Mack that time sets him up with a break point 
the from block the return of serve, not much swing, and then the block volley. The kind of shot when that happens, Brent, you say, Could we, let's replay that point. I didn't mean that, because that was a big point, and he had a look at the return. playing to entertain you. They are playing to win this match. I agree with your last statement absolutely, Brent, and would add to that fact that they both know that it's going to take good tennis to win this. They're not going to win it by default of the other player's bad play. This is what you want to avoid if you play McEnroe, and that's the, giving him the chance to get in, because he didn't have much alternative there because the return was so well played. Put him on the defensive. Oh, that's terrific. Gomez has got a good reach. He got to that one, and he has got to have thought that that was out of McEnroe's reach. But McEnroe knew exactly where he was going. Keep your eye on McEnroe here. See, he knows where it's going, so he hustles across there. He sees the open court and takes advantage of it. Break point again. at Palm Beach to win that stop on the Ravine Tour. Megan is checking the mark again, but it was a good serve. Gomez also won the stop in Washington. He's been the most successful player on the Ravine Tour. Here's another look inside the line. stop Gomez beat McEnroe in the semi-finals and then lost to Connors in the final. Gomez 
You know, Gomez has just got such heavy ground strokes that he keeps McEnroe there. Finally, McEnroe there. You can see his shoulder lift up as he hit that ball. And uh, you can't get away with that. Andres Gomez leads the third set, three games to one. Hold service. Serving a 1-3 here in the decisive third set. This is a special event on the Naveen Tour. There are 14 altogether, $3 million in prize money, events from Johannesburg through Moscow, Europe. They've got them in the Middle East, Tokyo. It's an international tour. Oh, that's beautiful. Just take a look at this again. Here, here's the return. Now he gets into the net. But watch this. You freeze it right there for me, guys. Right there. Now look at McEnroe. He's at the net and he's wondering what Gomez is going to do. Gomez does not disguise it at all. And watch that. Or I should say he does disguise it. He goes over the head of McEnroe and McEnroe is completely nonplussed. Great shot. Critical moment. Down a break. And fifteen thirty. is recognized as the best doubles player of all time and I I agree with that he was ranked number one in doubles for over 250 straight weeks 74 titles eight grand slams but he's down a break point and he's down a break in the third set Street Journal over there? Not right here. Uh, I just want to know how many Ecuadorian dollars, 150,000 Americans. <laughs> the match that is getting away from Johnny Mac and as uh, he walked over, can't hit the ball over that net right there with that little drop shot. Yes. There's the reason why. serving at 4 1. Next ball. <laughs> that 
It's very nice. You can tell McEnroe has made up his mind now, down two breaks, that he's got to make something well, happen. So this is what he does. He approaches the net aggressively, and then bang, nice angled winner. Gomez has got some stuff, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. And Brent, uh, in truth, what you said earlier in this match with the relatively dry conditions have, as it turns out, have really helped Gomez because McEnroe is not as at home on a clay, slippery court as Gomez is. Gomez was born on this stuff in Ecuador. It's easy for him to adapt to slightly drier, more slippery conditions than it is for McEnroe. Tower of Pizza serve, you know, he just leans into it, makes it look easy. The stab return from McEnroe, no chance. And it's all Gomez now. French Open champion in 1990. Took out Thomas Muster in the semifinals. And then Andre Agassi in the finals in a big surprise. He's never won the French. It's the only Grand Slam he hasn't won. He's played the finals there twice. Lost once to this man, Gomez. There's such an efficient manner. To Gomez. He's just gone on about his business. The dominant visual has clearly been John McEnroe in this match, but the dominant player has been Andres Gomez. Andres Gomez, the winner of the first set, 6-3. John McEnroe, the second, 6-2. We are now in the decisive third set. Gomez up 5-1. McEnroe serving at 30-15. Ah! <laughs> 
Baltimore wins that game, but he's still a big underdog. Andres Gomez will be serving for the match. Andres Gomez is becoming a dominant figure on the Naveen Tour. His last six singles events, he has won four times. Now he is serving for this championship. shot here that makes you feel like maybe it was just meant to be this was just purely lucky long 30 off I want you to watch one more technical thing before this thing is over and that is how relatively low the ball toss is on the serve of Gomez he, he throws it up only as high as he needs to to make contact with the ball and no higher that's why his serve is so good and so consistent two points from the match the second serve. Watch this one here again on the first serve. the guy who may be a little tight serving for the match play you don't give him free points like that Look at this replay again here. He's supposed to be really firm, and you could see how that racket was wobbling in his hand when he made that volley. Now McEnroe will be serving at 3-5. another volley that he should have made it's high in the air but you can he just there's a lot of tension in that body and in that swing as you said uh, 150,000 US will buy you quite a few Ecuadorian dollars <laughs> uh, 